Hello everybody, my name is Peter and this time I would like to show how I work with pipes. So let's start by drawing out the pipe, I select it and uh, go to front view, hit the A key to center it in the middle, hit the control key and bring a pipe out with 12 edges I make it. 200 by 200 by 600 and center everything in the middle. <clears throat> I bring back the wireframe. So first I delete these two polygons. We don't need them. Then I go to the side view, control Copy, Control V, E key to rotate and Control rotate it 90 degrees. Well, I could, of course, use the Boolean intersect, but I would like to show you another method which works equally well. So, first I go to the snapping and say snap to grid, then Shift C for the slice tool. Then I slice through here, shift select, uh, maybe make sure we are, shift select the tool again, slice through here, drop the tool, then I select all these polygons here in the middle and hit the delete key. Um, let me select another lasso rectangle. Next I go to Vertex, Merge, Automatic. Now, if you say, yeah, but I don't want a T, uh, sorry, a, a cross pipe, I only want a T pipe, then no problem at all. Select all these polygons here and just delete them. Then go to Vertex mode, select all these words, hit the R key, bring them together, go to Vertex, Merge and merge them and now we are uh, a T junction. Next, I think if this is too soft for you then we need to harden these edges by selecting some edges here, Alt C with the count of 2 and Drop the tool, I will disable snap to grid now. And now we have nice sharp junction here. The next thing one needs often to do is uh, to bend a pipe. What I always do is first I define the area which I want to bend by cutting two edges in like so. I always leave these two edges outside of the bend area. They make sure I get a nice clean bend. Next is I Alt C this edge here with a count of five maybe and uniform. Then I go to polygon mode and select all the polygons which have to be included in the bend, like these ones. Then I go to Deform, Bend, put the Bend tool to here, put this one to here, and this probably to zero. Then I hit the Control key and bend, maybe this way, by 90 degrees or by minus 90 degrees. The control key acts exactly the same as with the rotate tool. If you uh, press it, it constrains to 15 degrees uh, or to 15 degrees depth, which is quite handy most of the time. Okay, 
The next thing is, sometimes we don't have these nice straight intersects. Sometimes they are curved, like here. So what's also necessary quite often is that we have to uh, <coughs> add a tube of equal size to a bent surface. There is one little problem here, namely uh, I have, sorry, edge mode, I have six edges here, I have another six here, and I have four more, so it means if I want to put an equally sized tube let's say uh, on a 45 degree radius here, then it must have 16 sides and not um, 12. So I go to a new mesh, go to the basic tab, click on this here and make the same but with 16 sides apply, put everything in the middle, hit the E key to rotate it by 45 degrees, W key to position it to where it must be, about here, yes. <clears throat> Next I go to perspective and delete this polygon here, then I go to edge mode, select these edges here, hit F11 and activate constraint to background. Now W key but with action center selection and then I pull this down and you see it folds nicely to where we need it. Drop the tool. Now I can take this tube, control X, go back to my original mesh, control V and two, three, four, five, six, shift select these two, three, four, five, six and delete them. Now go to side view so I can see this better. I hide this just for a moment. Then go to vertex mode, select these two words, hit the W key, action center, element, this time hit uh, this one, use this one and bring this up a bit to make more room. Unhide. Now we can bridge this together. We have 16 edges here, 32 all together. Edge, bridge, good. And next I select this edge here, hit the B key with a round level of one. Click in the viewport and make a nice little bevel and make sure these two words do not cross. And here it is. I can delete this polygon here and we have an equally sized tube on a 45 degree on the round side of the pipe. But sometimes uh, we don't necessarily have all straight things, maybe let's let's assume we need to have a pipe in here. If you for example model uh, a musical instrument like a trumpet, you will see that there are all sorts of odd angles <laughs> where pipes come out. I have never done it but I know that this is the case because my father used to play one. So the easiest way 
to do this is by aligning the workplace to the selection and go to top view. This centers this here nicely, then go to basic, uh, select an eight-sided cylinder, control key and make it about so. Then I select this mesh control X, go to my empty mesh control V and do exactly the same as I did before. But first I must turn off my background constraint, then I go action center uh, selection, W key and bring this out, drop the tool, select this polygon, enable background constraint again, hit the W key and you see also this time it folds nicely around the area. Delete this polygon, perspective, select this one here, delete it as well, then control X, go to the original mesh, control V, and now I can delete these polys here and select these edges and these edges, edge, bridge again and also here this looks nice and the same again bevel key and bevel uh, this out and here we are this is probably more or less all the situations you can have with pipes and uh, of course it might be necessary that you thicken them then it makes sense that you harden all the edges first before the thicken because the thicken tool will propagate all these hardened edges and this is something I very much like about it. Drop the tool and now I can go to polygon, thicken, click in the viewport push the blue handle in a bit like so and you see these hardening edges have been propagated now we just need to harden these ones so select an edge in here one in here one here one here and the last one up there alt c with the count of two and symmetry and here we are. The thicken tool is capable of handling quite complex shapes really well. So that was it for now. I hope uh, you liked it and uh, thanks very much for watching. See you some other time. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. As usual, I will leave this on for a bit. Maybe I can uh, use it as my thumbnail. Thanks again. Take care and bye bye.